Hello, beautiful friends. This is the Organizer Advisor here to help you enhance your happiness and transform your life. Okay, we are doing the second bathroom in the house. This is kind of, so this bathroom is a, a little smaller than the downstairs bath. It does not get used as frequently. We're gonna clean this bathroom today. So the first thing I am always, we start with the ceiling, work our way down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sweep the ceiling, clean the light fixture, and I'll talk you through that. Sweep the ceiling, we want to wear eye protection, and I like to wear a mask. You can wear a hat or something over your hair if you don't wanna get the acoustical texture in your hair. So I'm gonna wear a mask, and you can wear glasses, or you can wear eye protection, either way. I'm just gonna wear my glasses. Now, Dollar General for $5. I use this to sweep ceilings. It's nice and soft, so it's not gonna take down a lot of the acoustical texture, but it does do really well at catching cobwebs. The reason we sweep the ceiling is we wanna remove as much dust from our home to make our air healthier and more breathable. So when we have acoustical texture, it does capture dust. So we wanna sweep it periodically to get all the dust off. So that's what I'm gonna do now. The next step is we're gonna clean the light fixture. You want to be really careful when you remove the light fixture that you don't break it. I like to use white light bulbs, bright white light, so it makes the bathroom look brighter. That's really important when you're putting on makeup. So now I can take The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the shower curtain and the bath mat, go throw them in the wash so they can be washing and drying while I'm working. Bath mat. If you have like a bath mat and you, you can use a towel holder and affix it to the wall and hang your mat over it. But these memory foam ones don't like to hang very well. A pants hanger and then I can hang it on a towel hook in the bathroom. And what this does is it keeps your bath mat from mildewing because the air can circulate around it and it keeps the backing intact longer so you don't have to replace your bath mat as often. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dust the walls. This, if you have sheetrock or paneling in your home, it has a slight texture to it and it will attract dust. So I'm just gonna use my microfiber wand and I'm just gonna what, just quickly dust the wall you can remove the artwork. Dust behind that. We'll clean that glass later. We just want to dust the wall and the door jams. And I like to make sure that the crown molding is dusted as well. I have removed as much dust from the walls and the ceiling as I can. Next, I'll do all the glass surfaces, and then lastly, I'll clean the toilet and floors. Okay, okay, so here's a couple of ideas, just in case. I'm sharing my best tips, tricks, advice, and strategies. Make sure you stay hydrated. So every few minutes, maybe every 15 minutes, or when you finish, one little task in the room, take a sip. Stay hydrated, you'll have more energy. It increases your metabolism. And it helps you to stay motivated. Here's another tip. If you want a little added extra calorie burn when you're doing your home caring activities, you can use arm weights and leg weights. When you're moving around, you're burning calories, but if you want to increase your caloric burn, go ahead and add your arm weights and leg weights. So as you're moving and cleaning, you're toning and you're burning more calories. 
So let's get started. We are gonna clean this shower. Some disinfectant in a bin, in the tub. I'm just using Lysol. I wanna kill germs, but use whatever you have on hand. I'm also going to use brush. This saves me time bending over, scrubbing. I'm just gonna use the extendable wand and let the little machine do all the hard scrubbing. Ready? I can't believe that you came into my life. You made me feel again. Now it's my turn. You say since I have the shower curtain off, I can't rinse them, but I want to save this little fella for a little later because I'm going to use this the little guy to do my baseboards. Okay, so while I was up there, I went ahead and wiped down the stained glass window, and now I'm going to start on the sink. If you haven't checked out my video on toiletries, we want to always do the smell test to make sure that the toiletries are still good. Oh yeah, absolutely. Tell by the smell test because oils in these products will go rancid and it gives it a really rancid smell. But we want to make sure that the product that we put on our body and on our face, in our mouth, and on our hair are all safe to use. All right, Let's get started. I'm gonna clean out this cabinet. There's not much in here. So I'm gonna clean out the cabinet, wipe it all out, and then wipe down the outside of the cabinet, and then I'll start on the sink. Use oil soap spray, because this is a wood cabinet and I wanna make sure that it is clean and hydrated. So you wanna start by everything out. I can't believe that you came into my life. You made me feel again, now it's my You can use your room spray, you can use essential oil spray, whatever works for you. I'm going to use my grandson's favorites. So, this is a little crock I repurposed. It used to be a candle, but it has a really nice crock, and I repurposed that to hold all of the toiletries so they stay contained and they don't fall out when I open the cabinet. I have a backup for the shower. Remember, we wanna do the smell test. Make sure it's good. Okay, smells like it should. You can get them in bulk. You can buy like 12 of them for $10 at a big box store, Walmart. You can buy them off Amazon. They're reusable. They save. 
the paper towel usage so you're gonna save money and you're not gonna to contribute to the landfill. See how beautiful that cleans? Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to the baseboards and the woodwork, wipe down the woodwork so it gets that really clean sheen because that reflects light and that makes us happy. uplift okay I almost forgot I want to wipe down the shower curtain rod because that can get kind of dusty so I'm just gonna wipe that down real quick So what I like to do first is I clean off the tank. Now a couple of tips I want to share with you. If you want to save a little bit of money on your water, be careful taking the lid off. I fill up this bottle, it's Ocean Spray Cranberry Juice, empty, and I put it on this side of the tank So you won't use as much water when you flush. Another thing you can do is put a denture cleaning tablet. That kind of cleans all the stuff in there, keeps it nice and sparkly. So I'm going to do that next. So now I'm going to add the denture cleaning tablet and I'm going to flush a couple of times after that dissolves. I think I'll add two. Just keeps any of the hard water from depositing on all of the innards of your toilet tank. Keeps it working and functioning beautifully. It even smells good. All right, so while that is dissolving, I'm gonna clean uh, this little plant with my Murphy's Oil Soap Spray so it looks so pretty. Artificial plants are dust magnets. So every once in a while, I like to refresh it by cleaning it with Murphy's Oil Soap, rinsing and letting it air dry. See how that perked all that color up, and got the dust off, so now it looks clean and it is vibrant. Cleaning the outside of the tank. If you like, you can you can add your toilet tank additive now. Just make sure that it does not impede the toilet mechanism. Okay, now for the toilet bowl. I'm gonna add some cleaner. I'm gonna use my toilet wand. You can use whatever cleaner you like. Pour a little in. I just wanna know I'm killing germs. <laughs> Spot 
topless bowl. We are making great progress. We're almost finished in here. I'm gonna get the shower curtain and the bath mat back up. Okay, so the shower curtain is back up. Now, just so you know, not all of my guests feel comfortable with a clear shower curtain, although there is a door. So I do have a backup fabric shower curtain as well as a window curtain. And I have the little hangers up there so I can just put a window curtain that matches the shower curtain. But that's just in case it makes my guests uncomfortable. Now I'm on to the floor. So now I'm going to use Grubby Brush. <laughs> So there you have it, a total, totally nook and cranny clean bathroom. It is disinfected, it smells fresh, and it is ready for guests or for grandson, whomever comes first. So check out my other videos. I have lots of clean with me videos. I have a play last money saving tip. Aren't you glad you stayed till the end? When you use a pump for your shampoo and conditioner, you use less, so you save money. There you go. All right, this is the Organizer Advisor, helping you enhance your happiness and transform your life. This is a Clean With Me video, and we are done. Don't forget your health and beauty routine. Remember, self-care is health care. Take time for yourself today. Be kind to yourself, and if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel or my Facebook page, leave me a comment or hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting new content. I am finished for today. I'm gonna to go take a break. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you found this video helpful. Until the next time, my lovely friends, have a wonderful day. I can see the stars align Dance around the moon every night And now my eyes are open wide And the sky has never looked so bright Now I don't need to see the road to believe To believe, yeah Cause this is where I'm meant to be, I believe and I feel the magic, magic everywhere It's all around us, it's in the air And I see the magic